Hi everyone, I'm Linda Loveland with the North Carolina Farm Bureau. We are here for our Ask a Farmer segment in Nash County. I have Trey Braswell with me, uh, Braswell Family Farms. Uh, you probably know him from the eggs and the refrigerator. You've probably heard of him before. So let's talk a little bit first about your operation here. So what sure. do you have? It's very impressive. So here we're at our kind of the heartbeat of our whole operation. We've got our packaging and distribution plant and connected to that we've got um, about a million birds, um, you know, producing mainly Eggland's best eggs. A lot goes on here, a lot coming in and out, but we, we produce the bulk of what we sell here and then we bring in eggs from our outside farms as well. Fantastic uh, operation you have going here. So our, our question, and, and people want to know about this because there are so many things when you go in to buy eggs. There are so many different grades or the characteristics and how they're done. So what, how does egg grading really work? <laughs> Absolutely, like it's, it's fairly simple, but the, you know, the machine is amazing. But so the eggs come in, whether they're coming from the houses here or other farms, and they're placed onto the machine. And there's several segments. And to, and to simplify it, the first part is just sanitizing, rinsing, and washing. You know, in America, we like things clean and perfect. So, um, so we run them through there, and they have to pass a test to where the egg shell is clean enough that they get sanitized, rinsed, washed, and then dried. So, you know, because our Eglin's Best eggs have to have a stamp on them, so they got to be nice and dry. And then the next segment is a series of quality kind of detections. So the internal quality of the egg, the external shell quality, um, the weight. All of those things. So, you know, you could have things in the egg like a blood spot or a meat spot, which are totally harmless, but again, in America, we like things perfect. So, we pull those out, and then uh, you might have like a, a little piece of manure or just a uh, kind of a scratch from, you know, just something in the process, mm -hmm. and those get pulled out. But then you look at the interior quality. So, is the air cell, is it, is it fresh? Is the air cell small? Um, those kind of things. And then the exterior is the shell. Is it is in perfect shape? Are there any cracks? Things like that. And that happens with cameras, lights, and some sounders that might, you know, touch the egg real lightly. Um, and then it's listening out for like the right, you know, wavelength of sound for what an egg shell should, should sound like. That's amazingly high tech. It is amazing. Like, and we used to do that all with people. And uh, obviously it still takes uh, a great team to run that machine, but the machine's just better and better and but after it goes through that what's left when it goes across the computer at that point in time when it transfers the computer knows exactly which lane which carton which size that egg is and where it's going so you know then it'll transfer and go to one of like 20 lanes and you might be packing small on a lane or extra large or um, you know different type companies products and it knows exactly where to send that to that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, the t and I'm sure the technology keeps changing too fairly often, doesn't it? It does. A lot of technology now is just how can we um, do the quality checks without touching the egg to reduce any mm -hmm. type of cracks. And then also how can we clean the machine better? Uh, food safety is like ultimate priority. Sure. So the companies that develop these machines are always looking at how can we clean them better? How can we have parts that, you know, can have water to touch them because a lot of things can't. And then just how do we handle the eggs better because we're always trying to now, there's some percentage of loss and we're just always trying to minimize that and get the eggs to the consumer because the less that we lose the more affordable the product is to the consumer. Sure, absolutely. Well you do a great job. I mean everything here it looks fantastic. I mean it, and you talk about how sanitized everything is and clean and that's the name of the game. So and that's also one of the things you have to worry about with avian flu. Mm -hmm. Clearly that was an issue all over. And I noticed coming in one of the things that you use is radar, right? Lasers. Yeah, it's laser. Like it's um, somebody in the industry was using it and uh, we tried it out and it's been amazing. Like it's totally harmless to humans, mm -hmm. birds, but waterfowl don't like that light, you know, going past their face and they can see it more than we can. So what it does, it doesn't keep them from flying over. It doesn't hurt them. It just annoys them so where they won't stay here and raise their family and hang out. And cause, um, you know, I love waterfowl, but I love my people's jobs and I love <laughs> being able to supply eggs. and. Waterfowl seem to be the greatest threat to um, biosecurity. So it's, it's been really neat. We do all kinds of things from coveralls, booties, but this laser um, light has just been something that's kind of the newest newest thing for waterfowl control. That's pretty well, and it's been working pretty well, huh? It has, I mean, it's, it's cheaper than ha building a whole bubble over the whole farm, <laughs> but uh, it's worked pretty well, it's neat. That's awesome, and, and just quickly too, so you are a, are you the fifth generation or the fourth, you're the fourth generation? Fourth generation, fourth. we say fourth generation, our family farm prior to that, but fourth generation in the feed, feedstuffs, egg, and chicken business. Congratulations, that's a long time Thank being you. here.
It's been fun. All right. Oh, quickly, I want to say this. Uh, so you were at the White House. I mean, as far as all your eggs, that's the, exciting. The eggs were, I didn't get to go this year. We've got a lot of young kids and a lot going on at, you know, at that time. <laughs> but uh, we were very fortunate and honored to be able to provide the eggs for the White House. And um, and we had some of our folks go and, I want, and to get to enjoy that and saw the president and saw the kids. And it's a surreal experience. I went when I was a kid and it was really neat, but we, it was an honor to be able to do that. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Trey, thanks for taking time for us. We know how busy you are. There's a lot going on here, so thank you. Well, thank you. Y'all are welcome back anytime. Yeah, thank you.